Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I thank you for inviting me. For It looks very interesting, and it seems like a very interesting meeting. I know it's uh, Sunday morning, and uh, the weather is nice, but I would like to spoil your humor straight away. The last, the last 13 years are 12 most the, the, are the 12 hottest years in the measurements of the history of measurements of temperature. On this slide, we can see something very important. Uh, how in Poland the temperature rose. Uh, uh, you can see it's it's getting hotter and hotter. It's it's a, we have a very mild Sunday morning today, but every year is getting hotter and hotter every year in the history of measurements. I always thought that Poland is the is the is the country full of rivers and lakes, and that our situation with the with the water is great. But it, unfortunately, it occurs that the situation in Poland when when uh, when we talk about the access to water is really tragic. Uh, it's really worse only in the countries when it's much hotter, uh, which is Cyprus and Malta, and the situation gets worse every year. Uh, but I don't need to tell you that because you can feel that yourselves as farmers. But for me, I, I mean, I was astonished by this data. Only the, only Cyprus, Malta, and Czech Republic are in a situation in a more detrimental situation than us. On average, in the European Union, it's about 5,000 cubic meters per person. In Poland, it, it's less than 3,000 cubic meters, and the and the, uh, the things get worse every year. 2000 in the year 2020. I don't. I haven't seen the data from this year, but in 2020, I saw this uh, map with the. Uh, uh, where the people were urged to decrease their consumption of water, which shows you how difficult the situation was. Uh, the problem, of course, applies to the whole Poland, but you can especially see uh, certain regions which are more um, afflicted by the loss of water. These uh, appeals are mostly addressed as, as private person, but you know perfectly well as farmers how important, how how big a problem, how big a problem the lack of water is for farmers. And for more news, in spring this year, there was a, 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 a very sad and very insightful report uh, was issued. Uh, it summed up the the uh, joint uh, agriculture policy, which was supposed to be, it was supposed to be more pro ecological, more green, etc., etc. But the European Agriculture Agency said that the, the joint uh, agriculture policy did not really address in any or maybe maybe in only minor way to to make uh, agriculture more eco friendly or uh, environmentally friendly. About 23% of all uh, of all carbon emissions, so all CO2 emissions generated in European, come from the from uh, agriculture and forestry. It, it occurs that the activities within the frames of the common doprowadziły do skutków odwrotnych, a przynajmniej nie spowolniły tego procesu. 2000, emisje gazów cieplarnianych nie spadły od 2010 roku. To są dane bardzo świeże z, tego, z wiosny tego roku. Program zazieleniania nie stanowił zachęt dla rolników do przyjmowania skuteczniejszych środków. I nie tylko, że nie stanowił, ale też wspierano szkodliwe praktyki dla klimatu. But also, not only the detrimental practices of uh, for the climate uh, practices against the climate change uh, were not only uh, abated but even supported. In a current situation in the European Union, 52% of agricultural land uh, belongs to to just a small fraction of, of uh, a small number of, um, of farmers, which means that big monocultural uh, land prevails. This all is very costly in the environmental way, but also costly uh, in terms of, uh, of not only in money, but in terms of, of, of um, ecology, of uh, environment. It's, it was estimate, estimated that it is said that the so the transmission lines also increase the uh, increase the the problems with the uh, are the problems are increased with the with the heating of the uh, environment. One hour of blackout would mean uh, one one hour of blackout would mean 52 million uh, uh, euro. 
reprezentację w całej Unii Europejskiej, nie tylko oczywiście w Polsce. Unia Europejska, Komisja Europejska i różne inne instytucje powiedziały, że trzeba wprowadzić, że trzeba tą sytuację zmienić. The European Union is supposed to be the leader of the change, to, to change this situation due to the environmental reasons and, uh, and ecological reasons. And it was uh, so the European Green Deal was proposed, consisting of eight areas, uh, the eight thematical areas. And the goal of the European Green Deal is to transform a European, the European Union in the, uh, in the competitive, green and sustainable uh, eco economy uh, within, some, within uh, until 2050. So in order for the production, so uh, first of all, limitation of uh, to, to make it the most competitive uh, economy in the world, the most modern uh, economy in the world, but it also has to be, has to, it's, it's, it should be a just transformation. So no region, no, uh, mm, no citizen of the European Union should be left alone. It sounds very nice. Uh, the next, uh, it, it sounds very ambitious. These eight uh, areas of the European policy, from the Euro from the point of view of agriculture, they're very important. But the most important is what what for us, for the farmers and what applies to agriculture is the introduction of sustainable agriculture and nutrition system. Uh, the European Union uh, proposed two, uh, two basic strategies from, from farm to fork and the strategy, the strategy uh, the, the for biodiversity. The foundation for all those changes for agriculture and for agricultural land uh, is the joint the, 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 the direction is set by the by the joint agricultural policy from the point of view of uh, uh, farmers who deal with uh, regenerative farming or ecological or sustainable farming the most important part is the one from from farm to fork. It's a very ambitious plan, according to the goal of which is to uh, to ensure secu food security, to make the, the, the nutrition uh, healthy. Of course, the, we could discuss about what healthy means for ours, uh, which will this uh, uh, nutrition system that will allow access to healthy food to all citizens of the European Union and actually to the whole world. And at the same time, the production, the, the production will be safe for the uh, for the planet. It's a great change. Uh, this it's a totally different lo different logic because from the point of view, uh, from this point of view, in the in the middle of the system, in the at the at the center of the system, you can see the uh, the consumer, not the producer, but the 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 pivot for all the actions, the access for all the actions should be the consumer. A number of very concrete steps were set out, uh, which really helps to get from a grand idea to precise to-do list. There are 27 actions. I will not enumerate all of them. The most important of them is reduction, the use of pesticides by 50% until 2030, reduction by 20% of um, of um, artificial um, uh, nutrition stocks, 25% of the European Union uh, area should be uh, should be, should be included in the ecological of sustainable um, agriculture. Uh, just to mention, in Poland it's about three percent right now, so we have very little time to realize a very ambitious goal. Uh, the next one is the reduction of waste of food waste at every stage of the value chain, because at every stage of the value cha chain you, there is a huge uh, waste of uh, foodstuffs and food and another one is the the well the improvement of well-being of animals from the point of view of regenerative farming and the, the um, and food production is a very important is the Euro european union strategy for uh, biodiversity which is the, the plan which is to lead us to to the to protection of environment and the reversal of degradation of ecosystems
at least 30% of European land areas should be trans transformed into uh, well protected uh, areas another process will be a new process will be launched to manage biodiversity including the change in taxes and the mechanisms of pricing and the, a very ambitious plan of uh, rebuilding of uh, natural resources will be put in place in order to to implement that another plan was created the plan to eliminate the uh, to eliminate the uh, contamination of water uh, and soil a very ambitious one among the, one of the goals is to improve the quality of uh, to reduce the the contamination by 55% improve the quality of water by limiting the the contamination and uh, and uh, plastic uh, waste in especially to in the seawater improvement of uh, the soil by uh, limit limiting the loss of the nutritional elements it's very ambitious from all this uh, well, all this ambition plan is subject to the certain reality check and uh, different uh, stakeholder of the development of agriculture, uh, agricultural development say, well, this is difficult. The Ministry for uh, of Agriculture uh, said that the European Green Deal is based on many ambitious uh, assumptions which, which uh, bears a risk of uh, over optimism. I, th I don't know what it means, but I think it's a, it's a way of criticizing of criticizing it the social um, the social uh, part says that the the role should be to secure the uh, secure the protection of environment um, and the Polish politician politicians of the uh, European coalition also at this conference in the beginning of July said no we have to we have to protect the the, the agriculture because you cannot produce uh, you cannot produce on uh, effectively on five hectares. Now, but this is a totally reversed logic from uh, from what the EU says, which is putting the which is putting this sort of focus uh, in the focus the small and medium um, farms. Well, the ecological farmers say that there is a possibility to produce uh, produce uh, with a profit even from small from small farms. The, 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 uh, the Polish pe People's Party, the, the PSL party, says that the uh, that following the European Union's goals. Uh, caused a decrease in the number of people employed in farming. The, 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 the politicians from the left say that the, the biggest the biggest problem is the, the small is the horrible level the, the really the low level of water and the low level of organization of the farmers. If we can tackle that well it's very difficult to actually to, to, to deal with it I mean there's a lot of criticism towards the the joint uh, agricultural policy and the Green Deal and it comes from outside from the world the ec American experts uh, from of the American agency uh, research agencies say that European Union cannot introduce Green Deal in such a ambitious way because that will cause huge increases in food prices especially for the people of people of the global south or the, the countries of the of the southern hemisphere people from outside of the EU outside of the United States this shows that uh, uh, how all how how we all will be, will be afflicted by the increase of the food prices the American agency says that the increase that such a big increase of the prices of, of food will increase famine around the world uh, other critics say we the European Union cannot cannot address things such ambitiously because nobody does anything anywhere in the world but that's not true the China has prepared a very ambitious policy which has the same goal leading us to zero emissions in 2006 leading them to zero emissions in 2060 however I have a lot of sympathy uh, to the politicians on one hand they have a huge uh, uh, climatic threat the famine threat in the world and soon we will have a dramatic situation ge 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 geopolitical situation in the world uh, it's really bad to be a politician in the, the, the 2021 thank you very much for your attention